Preparing solutions. A solution with a known concentration is a standard solution. We call this a stock solution. So you'll see in a, if, if you're reading through a, a, a lab, pre, or the pre-lab for a lab, um, you will see something about you know, requiring X amount of a, of a stock solution. It's used to make diluted solutions for experimental work. Right? When you buy certain chemicals, they will come highly concentrated, and then you'd, it'd be up to you to dilute it. Okay? So acids are commonly stored as stock solutions. When preparing a solution for an experiment, a small amount of stock solution is removed and diluted to the desired concentration. So if you have a really, really strong acid, but you don't want it so potent, right? you're going to want to figure out a way to dilute that concentration so it's at a uh, little more reasonable, um, uh, I guess, uh, concentration that you need for your experiment. Okay? And you're not going to be working with such. Because if you are working with extremely uh, potent acids, Okay. You're going to be wanting to work in a fume hood, and obviously we've got this little one here. <laughs> so we're not going to be uh, able to. So we're going to want to be able to um, dilute our solutions. Okay. So here's the formula you need to know. Okay. So we've got the volume multiplied by the concentration. So what we have here is we have our stock solution, so whatever we have, we're starting off with. Okay. with whatever we're diluting it to. Okay. So this is the diluted form. Now, you're looking at this equation going, okay, wait, this is now a new equation. It's not. We looked at this equation last class. We've seen the following equation. Concentration is equal to the number of moles over the volume in liters. Right? So N moles, volume uh, in liters, okay, concentration is in moles per liter. A new way of writing moles per liter, right, because moles per liter is molarity, we actually can use the capital M. So if we have something like 10 moles uh, per liter, we can rewrite this as 10 moles per liter using a capital M. Okay. So we're not going to treat this capital M as uh, molar mass like we were doing in the equation. This is now a unit of measurement. So, now, how does this equation here, C is equal to N over V, relate to the following? Well, what is missing from this equation in both of these? What's missing? What variable is missing in this equation here that's in this? The number of moles, right? The, because the number of moles that we have in our stock solution, right? So the number of moles that we have in our stock solution will be equal to the number of moles in our diluted solution. Okay? So think of it this way. You've got a beaker and you've got um, whatever your stock solution is. So however many molecules, I guess, that make up the one mole of that substance. Okay? And if we want to dilute it, when you want to dilute something, what are you adding to it? You're adding something else that will weaken this solution. So whatever amount we have, we're going to continue to add material to it, but we're not adding the actual stock solution material. We're adding something that will help us dilute it. Okay? We're so-called weakening our solution, but the number of moles is going to be equal, regardless of whether it's the stock solution, so the concentrated form of our solution, or whether we've diluted it. Okay, so that's why the letter N is not in this equation. So we're combining the equation that we've learned already for molarity with this, because we're taking, well, the concentration of our original solution 
and diluting it and how much are we, we going to have of that. Okay. So two ways to prepare an aqueous solution with a known concentration. One is to dissolve a measured mass of pure solute in a certain volume of solution. So we're going to take the amount of solute. Remember, the solute is what gets dissolved in a solvent to form the solution. And the other thing is to dilute a solution of known concentration by either adding material to it to try to weaken it to the desired concentration that we want. So remember, when a solution is diluted, the volume increases, but the amount of solute remains the same. So we've talked about this previously when we were talking about pretty much the number of moles. So the number of moles remains the same. The concentration, the volume of the concentration must change, must, might change okay, when we're trying to dilute a solution, but the number of moles remains the same. So we're weakening it, but we still have the same number of material of our solute within that solution. We're just using something else to try to dilute it, try to weaken the solution. 